Hello everybody, welcome again to the second very very important chapter, very very important lecture of Animal Kingdom. In the last lecture, in the last video, we spoke about the uh, till the Tinophora and today is the time that we will move beyond uh, Tinophora, that is we move on to a next phylum called Platyhelminthes. So our goal is going to discuss Platyhelminthes, then Eschelminthes, Anelida, Arthropoda, Mollusca, Echinodermata, Hemi, Mollus Mollusca, Echinodermata, Hemi, Chordata, and Chordata. So we have to discuss the uh, these uh, eight uh, remaining phylum in this particular class. Wish you good luck, everybody. Uh, I hope you will enjoy the lecture. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Yes, sir. Here we go. Platy helminthes. Platy means flat. Helminthes means warm. So flat, warm. So platy helminthes include those organisms which are commonly called as a flat worm. Why they are called flat worm? Because their body is dorso ventrally flat. Body is dorso means from the back side, ventral from the front side, ventral is the front side, dorsal is the back side, from the front side as well as the back side, it is going to be, it is going to be flat and that's why it is called dorso ventrally flat. These uh, P for uh, platy helminthes and P for parasitic, these organisms are going to be mostly endoparasitic in nature. Is that clear? They are going to be endoparasitic in nature that you must know. So, uh, this is the tapeworm that you should know. Example is called tapeworm, tenia solium. The second example is going to be uh, level fluke. It is also called fasciola hepatica. These are the both the diagram of fasciola hepatica. Then there is a last diagram of planaria. Uh, planaria, it is going to be called as a planaria. That uh, example is also very, very clear to everybody. <coughs> now, when I'm talking about the platyhelminthes, the tapeworm, uh, all of them are going to be parasitic, but uh, planaria is always going to be free living. So, they might be free living example, they might be parasitic, but most of them are going to be always a parasite. When we talk about the tapeworm, Tapeworm uh, is called Tenia solium and it has got parasitic adaptation that will become our third point. They are going to have, a, if you focus on this particular diagram, this is the mouth part. The same diagram is going to be the in the real diagram. This is a real electron microscopic diagram. There is going to be uh, hooks is present, number of suckers are going to be present. They help to attach and they help to attach with the host body. And uh, this is called parasitic adaptation. So this kind of parasitic adaptation is going to be seen in these organisms that you must know. Then uh, they have a, these organisms have a high power of regeneration, high power of regeneration. They undergo transfer binary fission. The planaria basically undergo transfer binary fission that you must know. Number six point, you can see this is the planaria. And in this plan area, you can see there is a, uh, these cells are going to be present. Uh, these cells are going to be there. These cells are called as a special cell, uh, called as a flame cell. We call it as a, we call it as a flame cells. We call it as a flame cells. There is a different name given to these flame cells. It is called solenocyte. It is called protonema solenocyte. And these help in so p for p for platy helminthes and p for protonema protonema is the star property of the phylum platy helminthes and it help in excretion and osmoregulation excretion means uh, removal of nitrogenous metabolic waste product while osmoregulation is uh, maintaining the salt and water balance in the body yes sir so i think this is the point number 6 the last part of this diagram is going to be the nervous system of this organism and you can see there is a, a pair of nerve cord is going to be present and it's going to form a ladder like nerve cord. That's why we call it as a ladder like nerve cord. Remember in last time in the hydra, uh, nervous system is present in the form of a nerve net and here the same nervous system is going to be modified into a ladder like structure ladder like nerve cord is going to be present this is the basic and the key property of the phylum platyhelminthes now let us now discuss with the help of a chart 
so there is a trick called tit two physics may fail well we will talk about this uh, trick uh, uh, right now we can discuss about this trick but uh, we can discuss later we, we can discuss now only tit two stand for tapeworm tapeworm is also called tenia physics means p and p means planaria fail means f and f means fasciola hepatica fasciola hepatica is commonly called as a liver fluke the word hepatica always stand for liver and that's why it is called liver fluke and it is called fasciola hepatica which is nothing but the liver fluke now the common name is going to be flat worm it is going to be dorso ventrally flat habit and habitat where they live they are going to be live as a mostly as a endoparasite that we have discussed hooks and suckers are present ladder like nervous system is going to be present uh stalmark there is a self fertilization in some flat worm like tapeworm self fertilization means uh, there will be fertilization within the body the the gamete produced by the single organism or the single body so all these organisms tapeworm are going to be bisexual that is male and female both are going to be present male plus female are going to be present in a single body and they will male will produce the gamete uh, male gamete and female will produce the female gamete and they will fertilize so the source of gamete if the source of gamete is going to be single body then it is called self fertilization it is can be seen in case of a tapeworm yes sir then when it comes to digestion digestion is going to be absolutely absent because they don't need digestive system why they don't need digestive system because most of them are endoparasite if you are endoparasite then you are going to depend upon your host body you are going to depend upon your host body and the host will directly give you the food and ready made food the digested food and you don't need to digest them and that's why you don't need any kind of digestive system so that's why digestive system is going to be absent they absorb nutrient uh, that is no need of digestion ready made food is available and they will be absorbed through the body surface this point has to be taken directly through the body surface excretion is always by flame cells protonema and the solenocytes we have discussed uh, these cells uh, just now sexes are not separate what it mean the sexes are not separate it means both male as well as female body female sex organ are going to be present in single body single body that condition is called hermaphrodite yes sir so there will be there will be male body and there will be female sex organ they they are these organs are going to be present in a single body and we call this body as a hermaphrodite condition i hope this point to be taken so they are hermaphrodite planaria have a high power of regeneration they divide by transfer binding fission that you know a uh, internal fertilization occur some might undergo cross fertilization but in case of tapeworm will always go for the self uh, self fertilization self fertilization only in case of a uh, in case of a um tapeworm that is very very important point uh in development will be indirect indirect means it is going to involve the larva the larva is a extra point a uh, larva of tapeworm is called oncosphere hexacanth and cysticeras so there is a uh, stages of larva is going to be there and these larva are called oncosphere hexacanth and cysticeras again it's extra point tenia planaria fasciola hepatica these are the three examples that you should know tit two physics may fail hai and this is going to be the trick that will help you to understand Let's time to talk about the Ascalmentis. First, discuss the Ascalmentis from the diagram point of view. Let us discuss the key point, and after that key point, we will go through this particular flow chart of NCRT as well. Here we go. <coughs> When we talk about the Ascalmentis, Ascal means uh, round uh, because why it is called round worm. Because uh, it is circular in the cross section. NCRT first line only. 
Why it is called round bomb? Because it is going to be round. It is going to be circular in their cross section. Second point, nimma. Why it is called nematohelminthes? Because it is a thread worm. Nimma means thread. So some worm, some animals, some organisms are like a thread. That's why thread worm. Some organisms are going to be round, and that's why round worm. That's why it is given the two different uh, name to this particular file. What are the other key features? Uh, other key features is the presence of a pseudocilum. You can see there is a pseudocilum. P for pseudocilum and A for ascalmanthes. Ascalmanthes is the only phylum that is going to show, ladies and gentlemen, pseudocilum. And that's why pseudocilum is the star property here. And it is going to be, there will be scattered pouches of mesoderm. There will be scattered pouches of mesoderm is going to be present in case of pseudocilum that you must understand. There will be mouth, there will be anus, so digestive system is always going to be complete, complete, and they will be having well developed, well developed, they will be having well developed muscular pharynx. That is the most important point from the NCRT. So these organisms have a well developed pharynx, uh, which is again a number four point. Number five, again, the next key properties of this organism is they are the first organism on the, uh, they are the first phylum in which there will be sexual dimorphism. Di is a two, morpho means form. There will be two form in the sexes. That is a male partner and there will be female individual. There will be how many individual? There will be two individuals. Male individuals and female individuals. Yes, sir. It's very, very important. So, obviously, male is going to be always a shorter whose length is going to be 15 to 30 centimeter, while female is 20 to 40, shorter, longer. Uh, having curved end, you can see in the diagram, it is going to be curved end. And here, there is no curved end. It's a straight line. And penile CT, you can see these structures are called penile CT. It is a copulatory organ. It is the copulatory organ. Copulatory organ means it is the organ which is used to transfer the male gamete into the female body. So, uh, penile CT is going to be present. Population is going to be occurring. And sexual dimorphism is going to be there. Male and female are not going to be similar in their morphology this point has to be taken by you let's move on to last property uh, this particular structure what uh, what you can see is a h shaped structure this h shaped giant cell is called rennet cell and they help in they help in excretion so previously there was in the previous phylum solenocytes or flame cells were present here that flame cell is modified and converted into a rennet cells so uh, ascaris have a dual excretion so this point has to be clear this point is about dual excretion is about example is the ascaris yes sir ascaris is going to have a dual excretion that point you should not forget they are a monotelic as well as ureotelic they can remove ammonia when water is available they can remove urea if the water availability is going to be less thank you i hope these points are very very clear and uh, let us now discuss uh, with the uh, flow chart. Uh, the trick is going to be a wall faltu hai. Obviously, uh, Russia, whether it's uh, India, Pakistan, or whether it's uh, Russia or Ukraine, any kind of war is not useful. War is going to be faltu. So, A uh, means Ascaris, W means Vuchileria, and A means Encyclostoma, R means Round Worm. So, Round Worm is the second name of Ascaris. Fal2 F is a filarial bomb whose second which is the second name of Vuchileria. He is nothing but the hook worm, which is nothing but the second name of encyclostoma. I think all these concepts are very, very clear. Yes, sir. So they are going to be uh, uh, their body is going to be circular. The body is going to be circular in their cross section. And they are also called thread worm. That is their common name that you must know. 
<coughs> they are some of them are free living some are aquatic some are terrestrial some are parasitic but uh, they are parasitic to plant as well as animal earlier platyhelminthes they were parasitic but they were parasitic for the animal but they can be parasitic for the plant one of the example is a melon meloid meloid degne meloid degne incognitia Malay, Malay Dagne, Malay Dagne Incognitia, which is uh, you have to study this in unit number nine. Unit number nine, uh, which is called Biotech. Biotech chapter, you have to study this example. It is the example is mentioned in the syllabus. Obviously, for this chapter, it's an extra point. It's an NCRT. It is not mentioned in NCRT of the 11th textbook of this particular chapter. They will have pseudocilum. Obviously, digestive system is complete. Muscular pharynx are developed. Unisexuality is there. Male will be male and the female will be female. Uh, digestive system complete again. H-shaped rennet cells or the giant cells are always uh, going to be present that you must know for the excretion. Dioceus, that is unisexual. Male is going to, female is going to be longer than the male, obviously. Fertilization internal. Development will be direct in the form of young ones. If the development is indirect in case of Ascaris, so the larva name will be Rabditi form larva. Again, it's a star point, means you understand what it means. Ascaris is a round worm, Vuchilaria filaria worm, and Cyclostoma, which is a hook worm. I think uh, this particular chart is also very clear. You have to say yes if you have, if it is clear to you. Yes, sir. If we go next. So this part is done. And uh, now it's the time to talk about the phylum Annelida. We are going to talk about the phylum Annelida. When I'm talking about the phylum Annelida, uh, the phylum Annelida, the first property, the Annelida word is taken from the annulus. Annelida means annulus and annulus means ring worm. So it is going to include the ring form. Annelida are commonly called as a ring worm that you must understand. Earthworm and leech and nares is the common example which is present in this and you must know this example. Yes, sir. So, uh, this is the cross section. This is the cross section of the body and you can see there is a circular muscles and there is a longitudinal muscles. LC. L for longitudinal, C for circular muscles. Both the muscles are going to be present in case of uh, in case of earthworm, in case of annelida. So this is a second property, and both muscles help in locomotion. That you must understand. Yes, sir. Okay. Number third point uh, is the uh, they have a blood vessels. It means they have a close blood vascular system. Their blood is red in color because they have hemoglobin but hemoglobin in our body present within the rbc but in them hemoglobin is directly present in the plasma it is directly present in plasma so rbc is present or not need will ask you have to say no 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 rbc is not going to be present here Hemoglobin directly present in the plasma that you must say. Yes, sir. Point number four is the digestive system. Here the digestive system is going to be complete. Obviously, mouth is present at the anterior end. Anus will be present at the posterior end. So, no problem. Mouth will be present and anus will be present. Complete digestive system. Yes, sir. Fifth point is about the parapodia. You can see there is a parapodia here. This example is of nares. So, you can see. In this nares, you can see these uh, structures. These structures, what you can see, it is called para parapodia, and uh, these parapodia will always help in locomotion. So parapodia is present in nares, and it help in locomotion. In case of nares, parapodia present, but in case of other organism, CT is present. So we have this point number six where you can see, can you see this black color elongated structure, black color, this black color elongated structure we call is a, it is a H shape. Can you focus on this diagram? It is a H shaped structure, almost H shape. 
it is called sita or it is called sita it is called sita or it is called sita obviously it is supplied with the circular muscles and longitudinal muscles yes sir it is supplied with the circular muscles and longitudinal muscles and together sita circular and longitudinal together all those three will always help in locomotion so nares has a parapodia ncrt point neat point very important point and the earthworm has a ct as a locomotory structure <coughs> concept clear yes sir this is called point number 8 uh, point number 7 is a ganglionated nerve cord is going to be present you can see there is a ganglion is going to be present so ganglion is a mass of neuron and uh, ganglionated neurons are going to be present here but this ganglionated neurons are going to be absent uh, in case of lower organism yes sir ganglionated no no cord is present ganglia means mass of neuron you can write it out mass of neuron yes sir okay so last point point number 8 there is going to be nephridium nephridium is a excretory organ what is nephridium nephridium is a excretory organ which is going to be present here that you must uh, know this point as a uh, nephridia is help in excretion nephridia present in annelida but proto nephridia is going to be present in platyhelminthes so that comparatively analysis uh, should be there for you yes sir i think these are the basic point and this basic point is going to be absolutely over so here we complete annelida and we move on to uh, the points of annelida so the trick is uh, very simple the trick is called help nation and uh, help uh, nation is the trick they are commonly called as a ring worm they are, they, they are commonly called as a ring worm so annelida uh, will discuss about the trick uh, later on here the help nation will come and uh, this will also come don't worry about it let us now discuss about all the points annelida common annelida 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 the common name is always called as a ring worm they are found in water habit and habitat terrestrial some of them are free living some of them are going to be parasitic like a uh, hirudinaria leech is a blood sucking animal and it's a parasitic metamerically segmented oh my god can i say it is a super star point of uh, these phylum it is a metamerically segmented body is going to be present here hemoglobin is present but directly in the plasma no rbc nephridia is present for the excretion ct present ct present plus there is also a parapodia parapodia is going to be present that you must know you should not forget nares nares aquatic animal nares is going to have a parapodia true xylem is always going to be present digestive system complete they might respire through skin that is called cutaneous they might have gills as well close the circulatory system hemoglobin in first time formed in the these organisms so again it is uh, again a very very star and important point and it is an extra point as well right they have a nephridia that you must uh, know this yes sir is that clear okay now um, there is a locomotion done with the help of uh, longitudinal circular muscles there will be parapodia and there will be ct as well that uh, will help yes sir so you must uh, know this this is a key character paired ganglion ganglia is going to be present which is nothing but the mass of neuron connected by lateral nerves to a double ventral nerve cord so presence of a double ventral nerve cord double ventral nerve cord is very very important double ventral nerve cord is very important nares is going to be diocious that is uh, having two houses one house of male and the second house of female it means sexes are sexes are sexes are 
separated sexes are not united in a single body there will be male body like us dioecious means like us we are dioecious we are dioecious yes here we go so monoecious earthworm and leech are going to be monoecious single house single house and in a single house there will be both male and the female in the body so there will be male there will be female both are going to be present in a single house and it is called monoecious it is called dioecious i think both the points are very much clear development may be direct or may be indirect yes sir if it is indirect it might involve it involve the larva or direct means young ones are going to be there Nerys, fear, tima, atom, hirudnelia. Uh, example. We'll discuss the example in the trick. Okay. So let's talk about the next phylum, ladies and gentlemen, and it is called arthropoda. So here we go for the arthropoda. Arthropoda number one point. It is a jointed leg. Artho means joint and poda means foot. So they have a jointed foot, and that's why they are called arthropoda. Super star performance. Super star point. Yes, sir. The body can be divided into head, thorax, and abdomen. That is become our second point. So body is going to be always segmented. That is metameric segmentation. That is like annelida. Yes, sir. Annelida. Yeah. Exoskeleton. That is chitin. Uh, chitin is going to be present. Yes, sir. So chitin spelling should be clear. It is called. It is called chitin. Chitina, so chitin is a homopolysaccharide of N-acetyl glucosamine. This chitin is going to be absolutely present. It is an exoskeleton, jointed limb present, segmented body that you already know. So these are the three very very important point about this organism. After that we move on to fourth point that is some organism like a. Uh, Spider and scorpion. Example I write here: spider, spider, and scorpion will have example. They will have a. Uh, they will have book lungs. What they will have? They will have book lungs for the respiration. They will have book lungs for the respiration. Yes, sir. So they will have book lungs for the respiration. I think this point has to be taken, and this point uh, need to be well understood by you. It's a very very special point. Yes, sir. Book lungs. It is going to be found in spider and scorpion. Both are the example of this phylum called phylum Arthropoda. Yes. Nice. Thank you so much. We'll continue with the fourth point only. That is because fourth point talk about the respiration. So respiration may be by gills. It may be by uh, book gills, book lungs, maybe by skin. So there will be respiration might be tracheal system, trachea. Trachea means windpipe. So there will be pipes are involved. This pipe include spiracle, trachea, air sac, and tracheoles. Not important. Yes, sir. Just to show you the representation of the diagram, they contain the tracheal system, that is the windpipe system for the respiration. We move on to point number five here. Point number five is the presence of sense organ, that is antennae is going to be present, and compound eye is also going to be present. Simple eye is present in some organism, but in some other organism, compound eye is also going to be present. <coughs> so this is the diagram of compound eye and this compound eye is made up of hexagonal structure can you see this hexagonal structure yes sir can you see this hexagonal structure you say yes sir these hexagonal structures are called as a omatidium so compound eye is made up this whole diagram is called as a compound eye and compound eye is made up of unit, many unit. The one unit, the single unit is called omatidia. Omatidia. Is that clear? Omatidia. Yes, sir. I think this is very, very important point. You should consider it as a very, very important for need. Yes, sir. We go next. Uh, point number seven. Point number seven is the presence of malfeasant tubules. So 
प्रोटोनेफ्रीडिया इन केस ऑफ प्लेटी हेलमेंथिस इन केस ऑफ एस्केलमेंथिस रेनिट सेल्स एंड इन केस ऑफ एनी लीडा देर वॉज नेफ्रीडिया एंड हियर फ्रॉम नेफ्रीडिया वी शिफ्ट ऑन टू मेलफीजन ट्यूबल ओ माई गॉड वॉट इवोल्यूशन इवोल्यूशन हो रहा है भाई इवोल्यूशन हो रहा है सो दिस पॉइंट हैज टू बी वेरी वेरी क्लियर मेलफीजन ट्यूबल इज देयर दिस ग्रीन ट्यूब वॉट यू कैन सी दे आर कॉल एज अ मेलफीजन ट्यूबल एंड दे आर ऑल्सो कॉल एज अ ग्रीन ग्लैंड इन सम ऑर्गेनिज्म दे आर ऑल्सो कॉल कॉक्जल ग्लैंड इन सम ऑर्गेनिज्म दे आर ऑल्सो कॉल एज अ एंटेनरी ग्लैंड depending upon the position depending upon their position in the body so green gland in some antennary gland in some and coxal gland in some organism we call them yes sir so let's move on to point number 8 so that is nothing but the but the nervous system double ventral ganglionated nerve cord double means two can you count here this is one and this is two yes sir so you can see this is one and this is two so there will be two can you see these are the point these points are called as a mass of neuron we call it as a ganglion nerve so there will be double ventral nerve cord is going to be present this completed the part called as a arthropoda and here are the basic property lolita bombay aakar store se butter paneer mat lena yes sir so this is the trick we'll expand the trick later so it is the largest phylum two by third animal joint appendages Head, thorax, abdomen, torch, compound eye has a omnipotent hexagonal body. Hemocele, sinuses, or hemolymph that we have already discussed when we were discussing open system. In the open system, in the first lecture, we have discussed already that open system is also called sinuses or hemocele, or it is also called lacunae. So there is a three name for the there is a three name for it. It is called lacunae. and it is also called sinuses so we call it as a lacunae sinuses and hemocele yes sir excretion below mention excretion uh, excretory structure is going to be present in the form of malfusion tubules and uh, respiration is obviously by buccal gills buccal lungs tracheal and uh, uh, and uh, gills the example of buccal lungs is going to be sns that is saste saste that is spider and scorpion that you must know these two examples yes sir this you should know these two example lacunae sinuses hemocele is going to be there it is already mentioned here so i think this point is taken uh chitinous exoskeleton obviously skeleton is present in the form of chitin and that's why Arthropoda is well protected by chitin, and that's why they are the most uh, protected and most uh, uh, number of organism found on the planet. Yes, sir. Maximum animal, two by third animal on the planet is going to be always uh, arthropoda. Yes, sir. I think this part is clear. Uh, let us expand the trick. Help nation. H for H for hirudinalia. Hirudinalia is also called as a leech. So leech is coming from this L. Leech is coming from this L. So it should be very very clear here that uh, L is coming here. Yes, sir. Okay. Then uh, Hirudinalia is a blood sucking. Blood sucking organisms are always called sanguivorous, carnivorous, omnivorous, herbivorous. Sanguivorous means blood eating animal. they have a hirudin which is a anti clotting protein we have we have uh, we have uh, the chemical which is uh, which is uh, going to be start from h it is anti clotting and it is called heparin it is called heparin heparin in case of human heparin in case of human it is a anti clotting it is the anti clotting anti clotting but uh, here in case of these organism we have a hirudin yes sir e stand for earthworm and p stand for fieldthema fieldthema posthuma is a scientific name of earthworm nation means nereis nereis has only one name now let's now expand the uh, 
द ट्रिक ऑफ लोलिता बॉम्बे आकर स्टोर से बटर पनीर मत लेना लॉ स्टैंड फॉर लोकस्ता लो स्टैंड फॉर लोकस्ता लोकस्ता इज अ ग्रिगेरियस पेस्ट इट लिव इन द ग्रुप जी फॉर ग्रिगेरियस एंड जी फॉर ग्रुप इट इज द मोस्ट डिस्ट्रक्टिव पेस्ट दैट यू मस्ट नो ऑन द प्लान इट कम फ्रॉम पाकिस्तान टू इंडिया लीता ली मीन्स लिमुलस इट इज कॉल एज अ किंग क्रैब एंड किंग क्रैब इज कंसिडर टू बी द लिविंग फॉसिल एंड दे हैव अ बुक गिल्स द गिल्स लुक लाइक अ बुक्स एंड दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल बुक गिल्स वेन लंग्स लुक लाइक अ बुक वी कॉल इट एज अ बुक बुक लंग्स yes sir so limulus is there bombay means bombax bombax is a silk worm and mulberry silk moth is also called as a mulberry silk moth it help in seri culture in the unit number 8 uh, you have a seri culture topic yes sir so you should know this in unit number 8 you have a seri culture topic in the same unit you have a akar akar is a honey culture honey culture is nothing but the apiculture so apiculture is again unit number 8 uh, you have a chapter which uh, talk about the enhancement of food production we are we are going to talk about the honey apiculture that is honey production then there is a stole stole say is nothing but the scorpion scorpion butter means butterfly butter means butterfly actually butter butter directly taken butterfly paneer is a prawn and uh, we i eat both prawn and paneer that is paleomon that has to be very clear uh, mat is nothing but the mosquito and mosquito there is a c a a trick is going to be there a culex c for culex a for anopheles and a for adis is that clear culex going to cause filariasis going to uh, act as a vector mosquito act as a vector right so they act as a vectors they act as a vector yes sir vector means they transmit disease they transmit uh, they transmit uh, disease yes sir so they don't cause the disease they transmit the disease yeah right culex causes filariasis no culex spread filariasis anopheles malaria and adis dengue fever dengue fever malaria filariasis is also called elephantiasis uh, it is also being discussed uh, in the chapter called unit number 8 yes sir then there is a lena paneer butter paneer mat lena lena is a lacifer lena is a lacifer it is a lac insect and india is a major production of lac culture so there is a lac culture again this part is also there in the unit number 8 uh, again yes sir so most of the examples of this chapter this uh, phylum they have to be discussed some of them need to be discussed in detail in different chapters mostly these those chapters belong to unit number 8 right okay we move on next we move on to next phylum called mollusca and echinodermata and last phylum called hemichordata let's talk about the mollusca when i'm talking about the mollusca mollusca is a soft body animal it's a soft body animal very first point body is unsegmented divided into a that is nothing but the head b is nothing but the visceral mass b is nothing but the visceral mass and c is nothing but the food head visceral mass and food these are the three parts of the body of the uh, these molluscans is going to be there the whole body is covered by a shell which is a calcareous shell it is made up of uh, calcium carbonate yes sir calcium carbonate shell calcareous in between the visceral mass and the shell there is a soft and spongy layer we call this layer is a mantle and between mantle and the visceral uh, visceral uh, mass there is a space and that space is called as a mantle cavity so what is mantle mantle is a soft and spongy layer that surround visceral mass and the foot 
visceral mass and the mental layer has a cavity called mental cavity and this mental cavity is always going to have gills they will have what <coughs> gills will be present focus on this diagram you can see here uh, here gills is going to be there this is the gills and this gills has a two function respiration that everybody know but ncrt surprisingly saying these gills also help in excretion yes sir so this gills which is present has a dual function in case of in case of phylum mollusca dual function and uh, that dual function is the of uh, excretion and obviously respiration yes sir we move on further we move on further to point number 5 is the mouth is present anus is going to be present so digestive system is always going to be complete and uh, number 6 point uh, can you see this part uh, it is highlighted here can you see the pointed structure here this pointed structure is called radula radula it is called radula and this radula is a rasping organ radula is what radula is an rasping organ and this rasping organ means what rasping organ means that it is a cutting organ it is a scrabbing organ it help in grating cutting grinding and that's why it is a rasping organ and the name of organ is called radula they help the organism to acquire their food so this is a grating organ see this is a food particle they are grated and the food particle enters inside so these are the food particle which are entering inside as this uh, part is going to be taken inside as the radula is taken inside food particle will also go backward yes sir is that clear so i think this part is also very clear and radula is a rasping organ is a star property mental cavity again is a star property <coughs> Let's talk about malacophily. Chote chintu ka daat tuta doctor per soi lagwai. Pila apple pink pear. Katwaya shape me apply kia sauce or kaya. Yes, sir. So, uh, we'll, we'll expand this trick later on. Uh, soft body animal. Common name is a soft body animal. Habit and habitat terrestrial and aquatic, marine and fresh. So, in case of uh, they, they might be terrestrial or aquatic inside the aquatic they may be marine or they may be fresh water second largest phylum on the planet yes body covered by calcareous shell superb unsegmented body distinguished into head muscular foot and visceral hum soft and spongy layer of skin forms a mantle over the mantle is a mantle covering over the visceral mass a space between hump and the mantle a space between hump that is visceral hum and the mantle is called mantle cavity it is has a feather like gills so this feather like word is very important feather like word is very very important feather like gills and they will always help in uh, function like respiratory function and they also help in excretory function so they help in respiration they help in excretion yes i think both the points are very good Mouth contain file like rasping organ <coughs> called radula. Uh, gills is with respiratory function. They help in respiration. Circulation is a open type except in case of sepia. Except in case of sepia, it is going to be sepia will have a closed system. It means sepia will have a closed circulatory system. It means like that. So in some of the entrance exam, it might be asked. So you be aware about this. There will be a respiratory pigment called hemocyanin. We have a hemoglobin and a leader have a hemoglobin, but they have a hemocyanin. So they have a hemocyanin. Cyanin means blue color. Cyanin means blue color. And it is blue color is because of copper containing blue color. Respiratory pigment is present. Gills will have aspiratory function as well. There will be special structure, sensory tentacles are obviously there, but there will be osphalidia. Osphalidia is a, is, a, is a sensory structure in this organism 
विच हेल्प इन टेस्टिंग केमिकल एंड द फिजिकल नेचर ऑफ वॉटर केमिकल एंड फिजिकल नेचर ऑफ वॉटर आर टेस्टेड बाय ऑस्फेरेडिया ऑस्फेरेडिया इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिप्रोडक्शन अकर्स बाय डायोसियस एंड इट इज ओवी पैरस डायोसियस मीन्स दे विल बी टू हाउस मेल एंड फीमेल दे विल बी सेपरेट ओवी पैरस मीन्स दे विल बी एग लेइंग और एग गिविंग सो दे विल बी गिविंग एग एंड दैट्स वाई एग गिविंग स्ट्रक्चर इज देर क्या सर दे विल बी फर्टिलाइजेशन ऑब्वियसली मे बी मे बी एक्सटर्नल मे बी एक्सटर्नल डेवलपमेंट मे बी इनडायरेक्ट पायला दिज आर द एग्जाम्पल विल एक्सपांड दिस एग्जाम्पल लेटर ऑन uh yes sir we'll expand this example uh the scientific name don't worry let's move on to let's move on to ecanodermata ecanodermata office aya or a cucumber kaya i came from the office and after coming from the office i ate cucumber yes sir so every organism has got two name the second name first name trick is this second name trick is biology is first living university biology is my first living university yes sir we will expand this trick don't worry about this the body is going to be spiny spiny body spiny body is going to be there organism is a marine habitat presence of spine is there let's talk about the character first echino means spiny skin the body e for echinodermata and e for anterosilom they have a anterosilom that you must know spiny skin body echino means spine derma means skin the skin is covered with the spine and that's why we call spiny skin the body yes sir is that clear very nice now uh, the second point uh, they have a mouth as well as anus anus is going to be present mouth is going to be present in the ventral side and lower side anus is going to be present in upper side and dorsal side and digestive system is always going to be complete so there will be digestive system which is going to be always a complete it means there will be mouth on the lower side ventral side and the anus on the upper side dorsal side i think this part is done right yes sir point number 2 is done point number 3 is about water vascular system oh my god there was a water canal system or water transport system in case of polyphera but this is not the same this is called water vascular system water canal system help in three function transport of food transport of oxygen and there will be release of waste product that was the function but that was the function of water canal system but here it is not water canal system it is a water vascular system there will be closed the vessels where the water is going to be located so it help in locomotion the main function is locomotion capture the prey food transport and respiration obviously when the food is transported oxygen will be dissolved with that transporting material and they will capture uh, that material and they help in locomotion if they wish to show their locomotion they will show, show locomotion these are nothing but the diagram that you must understand yes sir so radial nerve is also going to be there can you see this yellow color structure yes sir this yellow color structure that inside the arm inside the arm yellow color structure it is called radial nerve cord yes sir radial nerve cord is there yeah okay so that point is clear we always say e for echinodermata and e for anterosilom just to remember everybody this trick is made e for echinodermata and e for anterosilom you should know that echinodermata onward everybody is, is going to be anterosilom so echinodermata after echinodermata there is a hemichordata after hemichordata there is a chordata all these three example this three phylum is an example of anterosilom but what do you mean by antero whenever the word antero comes in comes in biology the meaning of antero is the gut yes sir the meaning of 
Antaru is the the meaning of Antaru is nothing but the gut. Yes, sir. It is nothing but the gut. Uh, gut is nothing but the elementary canal that you must know. Let us now discuss about the anterosilum in detail, little bit detail. So you can see yellow color, yellow color. Who are you? It is nothing but the endoderm. Blue color, blue color. Who are you? It is nothing but the ectoderm. Oh ho! Yes, sir. this is called ectoderm. Okay. So there will be endoderm and there will be ectoderm. And this endoderm is going to be act as a primitive gut. It act as a, it act as a primitive gut. Primitive gut means primitive elementary canal. Primitive elementary canal. Uh, so see, uh, this is a green color called endoderm. This endoderm is getting divided and it forms the pink color cell. Can you see this pink color cell? Now this pink color cell will go out pocket. Out pocket means it will form a pocket like structure but outside the yellow color. So it form a out pocket. Anthrocelum is formed by the out pocketing of embryonic gut that is endoderm. It is formed by the it is formed by the out pocketing of embryonic gut. So these uh, these are called anterocelum it is nothing but the nothing but the out pocketing of the primitive gut or embryonic gut or out pocketing of the endoderm if endoderm is going to be out pocket and it is going to be come to lie in the middle layer that is called mesoderm then middle layer called mesoderm then it is called anterocel or anterocelum and anterocelum is a star property starting from echinodermata and everybody after echinodermata. Echinodermata, hemichordata, anchordata, all the three examples going to show the anterocelum. I hope this, this is the magical point about the echinodermata and this point is very much clear to you. I hope so. Yes, sir. I think this particular point is clear to you. So let us now uh, expand this uh, particular tricks which is going to be present here. Yes, sir. Expand the trick. Yes, sir. Here we go. Chote chintu ka daat tuta doctor pa sui lagwai. Pila apple pink. Pila apple. Pila means yellow color. Pila apple pink peer. Pink color peer. Katwaya shape me. Shape me katwaya. Apply kia sauce or fill khaya. Yes, sir. So chote is a. Chitoplura. Chitoplura is also called chiton. Chiton. Uh, that is a dentalium. Tuta is a tusk shell. Doctor pus. Pus is a pus. Doctor pus. We call it as octopus. Octopus. And octopus is also called devil fish. That's why this D stands for devil fish. Oh my god. Like this. Yeah, like this. Yes, here we go. Sui 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 call as a squid. L L leg Y call lolligo. Yes, sir. so squid is there, lolligo is there. Uh, I think this point is uh, clear. Pila is a pila. Apple is a apple snail. Pila is also called apple snail. Pink pintada pintada pila pink peel peel is nothing but the pearl oyster. The same thing you call it as a Peer, the same thing you can call it as a pearl oyster, depending upon what you want to, what do you want? Do you want pearl oyster? Do you want pearl or you want peer? Yes, sir. Okay. Katwaya is a cuttlefish. Shape is nothing but the sepia. Sepia has a closed blood vascular system. Very, very important. Apply is a apply, <laughs> apply is a aplasia, and it is also called sea hair. And sauce is nothing but the sea hair. So that you need to uh, remember this trick to help you understand. Yes, sir. Office aya or a cucumber khaya. Office aya or a cucumber khaya. Biology first living university. Office means uh, ophiola, beetle star. And uh, B stands for beetle star. Aya is the asterias. Aster, asterias. And uh, first is a fish, starfish. 
A is the antidon, which is a L. L is the C lily. So we have taken this L for lily, not for the C, because so many S. Yes, sir. So antidon is the cucumber. Uh, e for echinus. Echinus is also called U. U for C urchin. U for C. U for C urchin. Uh, so E for echinus. E for echinus and echinus uh, is also called C urchin. Cucumber uh, uh, is nothing but the cucumeria, cucumeria, and C stands for C cucumber. C cucumber. Cucumeria is nothing but the C cucumber. I think these tricks are expanded and it is well expanded. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Here we go. We move on to now. Uh, last phylum, which is in the second last phylum, we have a chordata to complete, and this is called hemichordata. Yes, sir. Hemichordata is going to have a proboscis, going to have a collar, they are going to have a trunk body, and the example is called balanoglasses. The trick is always going to be glossos, glossus brothers, balanoglasses and sacoglasses, balanoglasses and balanoglasses and sacoglasses. These are the both the examples are going to be there. Hemichordata, it is also called acorn worm or it is also called tongue worm. It is looking like a tongue only. That's why it is called tongue worm. Cylindrical body, proboscis, collar, trunk is there. There is a stomachord, a outgrowth arise from the roof of buccal cavity. From the roof of buccal cavity, an outgrowth arise. And that outgrowth is called stomachord. That... Uh, as it is arise from the roof of buckle, roof of roof of buckle, buckle stands for mouth. So suppose this is a mouth from the mouth, a diverticulum arise. This diverticulum is called buckle diverticulum, or it is also called as a stomo cord. Digestive system here is a complete. Respiration is by gills, open type of circulation. Excretion is by proboscis gland, proboscis gland. In the extra point, it is also called glomerulus. Nervous system is a rudimentary structure. Uh, rudimentary structure is going to be there. Uh, there in the collar region. In the collar region, it is called uh, stomochord. That uh, is the structure which is similar to notochord. It was considered to be the notochord, but it is not notochord. And that's why it is not divided into chordata. It is a part of last phylum. Of chordata, yes, sir. Uh, sexes are always going to be separate. Fertilization is always going to be external. Uh, development is indirect. That is called tornaria larva. Is there very very important larva? Extra point only, yes, sir. So I think all these points are very very clear to you, yes, sir. I would like to expand one of the points uh, here that you must understand that uh, this is the mouth. And mouth, this is the mouth, yes, sir. And uh, mouth will come here. And mouth has got diverted part, this yellow part. Can you see this yellow part? It is called stomochord. It used to be considered, it is a rudimentary in the collar region. It is a rudimentary structure. And it was uh, similar to notochord. It was considered to be a part of notochord. But it was found that uh, now it is not a notochord. Because notochord has the origin of uh, mesoderm, but this has the origin of ectoderm. Yes, sir. So now it is not considered, but uh, still they are called as a hemichordata. This name is always given. Yes, sir. I think these parts are very, 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 very clear. And uh, we go further here. Uh, we move on to the uh, last phylum of our syllabus, and that is called chordata. Cord data. Cord data is a cord. Data is a bearing. Cord bearing animals are called as a cord data. And uh, what kind of cord is there? So the there is a notochord and there is a no cord. There is a third point gill slit, fourth point post anal tail, and fifth point is a closed circulatory system. Other points are very common like uh, triploblastic, bilateral symmetry, silomate enterocilumate that you know very well so first try to understand first point called notochord this tube the, this is not a tube by the way this is not the this is not the tube yes sir this is not the tube here we go this structure is called as a notochord 
it is in the mid dorsal area it is mesoderm derived its future is very good in vertebral it form vertebral column in vertebrate it form so it is going to be bony or it can be it can be cartilaginous it can be cartilaginous it can be bony it can be bony bony it can be cartilaginous and uh, form vertebral column in the vertebrae yes sir okay it is going to be form future bone in vertebrate or maybe form cartilage and that's why it is hard the spelling the spelling of notochord the spelling of notochord and the nerve cord is uh, it has a h h stand for hard it is tougher yes sir? so you should know what is notochord and what is not notochord will form bony structure cartilaginous structure it is mesoderm derived but no cord is a single hollow tube it is it, it is a solid structure it's a solid structure it is mesoderm derived mesoderm derived yes sir is that clear but this is going to be ectoderm derived ectoderm ectoderm derived and it is going to form the it is a uh, it is a tubular it is a tubular so tube means it 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 has a pipe it has a pipe yes sir so can you see the gap can you see the pipe yes it from cns central nervous system so what is the future of the nerve cord the future of the nerve cord is so much good the future of the nerve cord is going to give rise to brain and the spinal cord it is going to give rise to brain and the spinal cord and it is a hollow nerve cord single hollow nerve cord future is very good it will give brain and spinal cord yes sir. gill slits are present uh, in the embryonic condition this is the embryonic cordates uh, this is the anus and beyond the anus uh, part is called post anal tail and uh, this is the difference between i hope this particular point is clear now we move on to this ncrt very uh, table notochordata means notochord present here notochord absent central nervous system has a dorsal uh, here the central nervous system is going to be present in dorsal side that is a back side it is hollow it means it have a cavity and it is single but here it is going to be in case of non corded wherever we have studied ventral it is present in ventral side it is solid structure and it is double so uh, whether it's uh, in case of planaria ladder like structure was there so everybody uh, even all the organism all most of the organisms of invertebrate were having the solid blood double no tube no pipe no hollow structure here hollow structure present that hollow structure will form cerebro spinal fluid that form a cavity in the brain called ventricles and central canal this cavity is filled with the um cerebro spinal fluid that you know so uh, you are well aware of hollow nature pharynx is perforated by gills here gill slits are going to be absolutely absent heart is going to be present in ventral side see yourself where is your heart in the ventral side v for v, v for vijay and v for ventral front view of vijay is called ventral view that is done and the back view is called dorsal view okay post anal tail is present here post anal tail is not going to be present that uh, uh, you should understand this here it is present here it is not present uh, yes sir here it is gill slit present here it is not present here it is present here it is not present so this cross point need to be understand very well yes sir yes sir so i think this uh, slide is also over let's talk about the next part uh, is called as a phylum chordata phylum chordata is classified into three sub phylum the first phylum is eurochordata cephalochordata and vertebrata i repeat euro euro means tail euro means tail eurochordata is also called tunicata it is also called tunicata Euro means tail. Here the notochord, uh, cephalochordia. They are together called as what? They are together called as 
proto chordata and this is called vertebrata proto chordata together they are called as a proto chordata exclusively marine like tinophora tinophora was exclusively marine they are also exclusively marine why they are called euro and why they are called cephalo euro means tail so these are present only here the notochord is going to be present only in the larval tail tail region it is present in tail region notochord is the tail region but in the larva but in adult bye bye in the in the in the adult stage they are saying bye bye means they are going to be absolutely absent yes sir head to tail persist uh, life long head to tail cephalo chordata uh, cephalo is a head and from head to tail it is going to be persistently present here yes sir vertebrates are going to be include the notochord only in the embryonic stage uh, they may be converted into cartilage or bony vertebral column they have a ventral heart maybe two chamber maybe maybe two chamber maybe four chamber or maybe four Two, three, or four chambered. Yes, sir. Kidney is going to be present for excretion. Metanephric kidney is present. Paired appendages, or if it is appendages, then it may be appendages in the form of fins and limbs. So, what is fins? Fins are nothing but the appendages. Uh, limb is also appendages. Yes, sir. So, uh, anything which arises from the central axis of the body in the periphery, they are called fins. They are called fins. Uh, or limb yes sir okay okay so um yeah we do talk about the examples we have to talk about the examples right eurocordita eurocordita has an example called sad ho are you sad no cephalocordita has an example lab so sad s for salpa ncrt example a for acidia ncrt example d for doliorum so are you sad no you are happy because you got the trick right yes sir uh, the, the 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 example of cephalocordata is a lab where are you right now you are in a laboratory yes we are in the lab we are in the lab so l stand for lancelet a stand for amphioxus and b stand for branchiostoma <coughs> they are the same name right uh, Yes, sir. They are the same name. That's why oblique is uh, placed here. Yes, sir. I think this chart, uh, this slide is also very much clear to you, everybody. Let's go further. Here we go. The vertebrata. Let's talk about the classification of now vertebrata. Vertebrata classified into agatha and gatha. Gatha, gatha, gatha means uh, gatha means uh, jaw. So there will be jaw present and agatha, agatha, lack jaw. The jaw is going to be absent. The jaw is going to be here. The jaw is going to be absent. Yes, sir. I think this part is clear. Jaw is absent. Here the jaw is going to be present. Yes, sir. jaw is present. Yes, sir. So those who do not have a jaw, 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 jaw. Yes, sir. their mouth will be circular like, mm, like this, mm, like this. Their mouth will be circular mm, like this. So, can can their mouth is supported by jaw? No, their mouth will be circular. Yeah, circular means round. Yeah, that's why cyclo. Hello, everybody. Cyclo means circular. So their circular stoma. Yes, sir. Cyclo, cyclo is nothing but the, and stoma is nothing but the mouth. Yes, sir. So cyclo, just wait, huh? Let me write it clearly for you so that we can understand. Cyclo is the circular. Cyclo is the circular and stoma is the mouth mouth yes sir stoma is stoma stoma is stoma is nothing but the mouth 
so the mouth is circular mm. Mm. like this circular absolutely circular mouth so it is good in good in sucking so they are blood suckers they be, they will become blood suckers yes sir pisces uh, the gastrostomata which is a um, uh, further division and uh, super class uh, this is a subphylum um yeah this is the sub phylum sub phylum and sub phylum is further divided into uh gastrostomata and agatha gastrostomata divided into super class there are two super class one super class is called pisces and second super class is called tetrapoda tetra means four poda means four sorry tetra means a uh, Four and poda means food, so they have a four foot, and that's why it is called tetrapoda. I think concept is clear. Is that clear? Here we go. Pisces is the one super class, and tetrapoda is the second super class. Pisces uh, bears fins, and they bears limb. Yes, sir. So it should be very very clear to you. They bears fin, and they bear limb. They will be a limber. So I think this point has to be done. Condyoctis, osteoxis, condyoctis, chondro, chondro, chondro means cartilage, and osteo, osteo, osteo means bone. So they are called cartilaginous fishes. They are called bony fishes. Amphibia, reptilia, apes, and mammals. These are the examples that uh, you must know. So uh, they are total. How many? They are total. How many? Uh, how many classes are there? A gatha has a one class. Yes, sir. Depending upon what is the question. So, uh, gatho stomata has a two class. That is Pis two super class. Uh, uh, sorry, Pisces have a two two class. That is Condyoctis and Osteoctis. Yes, sir. Tetrapoda have a four class. These are the four examples. Yes, sir. And uh, Gatostomata has a five class that is it will include all the four, all the five, five. And vertebrata have a five class. It will include cyclostomata, these two and these four. So one plus two plus four will become always seven. Yes, sir. So I think this part is done. This slide is also done. We move on to next part now. That is called cyclostomata. When we talk about the cyclostomata. It is ectoparasite, as you know already. Six to fifteen pair of gills are going to be present. As the mouth is sucking, uh, circular that you know already very well. The mouth is going to be sucking type. That uh, you should know this. Yes, sir. So uh, let me just uh, create a bit space. So that the visibility improves. Yes. Visibility improves. Yes. So they are ectoparasite. Six to uh, fifteen pairs of gills are present. Uh, gills are going to be present. Yeah, we must write gills. Sucking and circular mouth without jaw, devoid of any kind of scales in the body. Paired fins are going to be present. Yes, sir. Paired fins are going to be present. Yes, sir. Then uh, cranium and uh, uh, vertebral column may be made up of cartilage. Uh, VC means vertebral column. Cranium is a brain box. Close type of circulatory system. Marine. They are exclusively marine. Means they are absolutely found in the marine water, but for reproduction they will migrate from marine to fresh water. So they will migrate from marine. They are absolutely marine. See here, they are absolutely marine. But for reproduction, for spawning, spawning means reproduction. They will go to fresh water. They will reproduce. They will reproduce. They will produce the egg. 
fertilize the egg egg will produce the larva 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 will travel to the marine water but uh, but uh, adult adult will will die why it will die because their body cannot survive in the fresh water <coughs> it is difficult for their body to survive in the fresh water but they came only for the reproduction yes sir so that point has to be done and that point has to be taken care yes sir i hope this point is also very very clear to you yes sir here the paired fins are going to be absolutely absent not present means uh, unpaired dorsal fin second dorsal fins caudal fins so paired fins are absent but uh, unpaired are always going to be present what is the example example is a uh, example is going to be petromyzon lamprey which is also called lamprey mixin which is also called hackfish petrol ka lamp mh mh means maharashtra uh, in front of car uh, maharashtra car mh is written i am from maharashtra and that's why i'm saying like this mh me dala so petrol ka lamp mh me dala petro means petro petro petromyzon lamp means lamprey m for mixin and h for hackfish i think this point is superb yes sir and uh, this is how we completed the cyclo stomata it's time to talk about the next slide uh, where we are going to talk about the difference between the cartilaginous fishes and bony fishes so this is uh, this is going to be two example of uh, cartilaginous cartilaginous fishes cartilaginous fishes and obviously here the example of bony fish is already given so hippocampus catla catla and scoliodon and pristis these are the two example that uh, is mentioned in the ncrt and it is my moral responsibility to present this diagram because diagrammatic question may be asked this is called hippocampus and this is called catla catla if you like to eat the fish then you might be knowing but uh, if you're vegetarian then you have to study it this is called scoliodon you can see their mouth uh, is uh, their mouth is in the ventral side yes sir mouth is in the ventral side and you can see this is uh, this is uh, called as a um, operculum is going to be present here uh, gill slits are gill gill slits are visible here but here gill slits are not visible yes sir so let's talk about the difference between the bony fishes and cartilaginous fishes that will uh, be the last part of this particular lecture i think so yes sir here we go it is a marine animal uh, streamlined body it is a marine water as well as fresh water endoskeleton is cartilaginous endoskeleton is bony it is uh, mouth is ventrally located mouth is uh, terminally located you can see the mouth is present mouth is here is at the um, at the terminal position mouth is at the terminal position yes sir mouth is at the terminal position here the mouth is at the ventral location notochord persists throughout the life it is equal point gill slit o for operculum is going to be absent in case of chondroptes o for osteoxis and o for o for osteoxis and o for upper operculum so in osteoxis that is bony fishes uh osteo osteo that is operculum is present operculum what is operculum it is a covering four pair of gills is present this is very very important four pair of gills is present here and here five to seven pair of gills are present is that clear operculum is going to be present here here operculum is going to be absent here the skin is made up of placoid scales are going to be present here and here you can see cycloid and tenoid scales are present yes sir uh teeth is modified uh, placoid scale in case of uh, uh, so the teeth is very dominant they are very dangerous uh, they are predaceous predaceous means they will kill you only 
yes sir that's why uh, there is so many movies in hollywood and bollywood about the shark shark is predaceous very dangerous don't go there yes sir okay air bladder is going to be absolutely absent because the body is cartilaginous so uh, their body cartilage is lighter in weight uh, compared to bone and the uh, bone is heavier it is very difficult to carry the bone you know yes sir okay so air bladder here absent uh, air bladder is going to be absolutely absent here and uh, air bladder is going to be absolutely absent and they can swim constantly but they cannot swim present which regulate buoyancy air bladder is present so here i can say air bladder bladder is going to be yes it is going to be present so i am saying yes yes sir heart is obviously two chamber one auricular and two ventricular this is again is going to be equal point about them uh, torpedo is going to be electric uh, organ <coughs> electric organ is going to be present in torpedo and poisonous sting is going to be present in trigon then cold blooded cold blooded both are equal point poikilo uh, they will release urea they will release ammonia so they are ammonotelic i write here they are ammono ammonotelic and they are ureo ureotelic concept clear they are ureotelic yes sir they have a sexes are separate and they have a clasper clasper is a copulatory organ that's why i always say india i always say c for condyoctis and c for clasper and c for copulation yes sir so clasper is a copulatory organ and it help in reproduction it help in transferring the male gamete into the female body and that's why clasper is going to be present here is coleodon dog fishes pitis saw fishes uh, calcareodon great white shark trigon stingray uh, these are the examples that uh, you have to study i have made the trick but uh, it is beyond the scope of our uh, or will will share the trick uh, in the next lecture yes sir so i think uh, in today's class i am going to finish only this much uh, we have to discuss the last four classes and um, will and discuss about them in the next lecture yes sir how do you like the lecture so you can do comment this is a, a ncert based class that will give you the correct information about the whatever the content which is explained plus there will be some extra point which is called star point i hope you like please subscribe the channel share the video with your friends so that they also get enough knowledge thank you so much jai hind